everyone, and welcome to the 6.5 Summit AI Unleashed. I'm Melody Brew for more insights and strategy. Today, I have JJ Davis, Senior Vice President of Corporate Affairs at Dell Technologies, joining us for this sustainability track opening keynote on efficiency in the AI era. Thanks for being here, JJ. So to set the stage, AI is reshaping the technology landscape from data center architecture to the edge and beyond. And as enterprises accelerate AI adoption, Dell's position as both technology provider and a sustainability leader becomes increasingly significant. Can you share how Dell defines this new role of in the AI-driven era and how that vision is sort of guiding your strategy? Sure. So, you know, we have been working with almost 100% of the Fortune 500 for a very long time. We're a big provider to the CSPs as well. As you think about AI and the opportunity for business growth and, and productivity gains in front of us, it's a really exciting time to be in the infrastructure business. And so we launched um, more than a year ago the Dell AI factory with NVIDIA as a way to help our customers deploy on-premises AI inside their companies. And so we continue to see great adoption. And what gets exciting from where I sit is the opportunity to think about modern data centers and what that means from an efficiency perspective. So we've long been the leader in the best performance per watt in our servers. Every generation gets better, but now, um, efficiency becomes even more important when you think about the growing cost of energy associated with AI, how we need to make sure that all of the infrastructure is fully utilized, how you think about where the workloads run based on what it is the end user needs to get done. And so we're factoring all of this in with a lot of product innovations and how we're advocating on behalf of more secure and sustainable AI with governments around the world as we partner to really um, build and grow the enterprise AI market, both for the public sector and the private sector. So, yeah, I mean, I think like with the AI workloads, organizations, and I guess, you know, beyond governments and, and others that you mentioned are under pressure to optimize for both performance and sustainability. So how are your customers prioritizing evolving in this context? And really the big question is, is sustainability remaining a top priority to your customers? Well, it absolutely is because our customers, customers care about it. But we really think about what can we do to create technologies that advance human progress. That is the purpose of our company and it has been for a very long time. It's why we exist. How do we drive business and societal value at the same time? And so it's always though been about cost reduction and ROI. I would say that um, you know when, when we're talking to customers and we get RFPs from them, 95 plus percent of RFPs have sustainability questions in them. They want sustainability criteria to factor into the decisions they make, but it's not the number one thing. It's always been about price for performance or total cost. And I think the good news with all this focus on efficiency is we can do both. We can drive down the cost of energy to power these modern data centers. At the same time, we're thinking about where does the workload run in the data center or on the end device like the AIPC? How does that help increase energy availability? We have a new um, rear door heat exchanger that starts to capture heat um, and, and really drive more energy efficiency in the data center. So the good news is, the energy intensity of these data centers and AI servers are forcing even more sustainable innovation, which is good for the environment, without compromising the productivity and economic gains we really are so excited about in the AI era. Yeah, this the timing of this conversation is so great because you've just come off of Dell Technologies World and there was so much engagement there yeah. directly with customers who are navigating these challenges. 
I heard so much of what was going on there with some of the other 6-5 videos. What are some of the other key themes and concerns that you heard regarding AI adoption in terms of efficiency and sustainability? Well, it's a great question. And the number one inquiry we get from customers is around calculating their product carbon footprint both across their PCs and their data centers, because understanding the individual product carbon footprint of every product in their enterprise helps them then calculate the total emissions of their infrastructure so they can have that baseline and drive those emissions down. That continues to be a big topic of conversation. As I mentioned, we launched some new liquid cooling innovation, which is core to our server portfolio. Every new generation of server is more efficient than the previous generation. So as customers are weighing, is it time to modernize and invest in new technology? This certainly, a lot of companies are doing that because of AI, and they can then factor in, uh, what is the balance of liquid cooling versus air cooling? What do they need to be thinking about differently? And we also launched something at Dell Technologies World called Concept Astro. So it's a pilot project that we did with the Scripps Oceanographic Institute at um, UC San Diego, where they have so many coral reef images, huge amounts of data, a lot of data intensity, where they're trying to research and study the coral reefs around the world so that we can drive ocean preservation. And so we installed a, a Dell AI factory with NVIDIA in their data center. We've been piloting to make that data center grid aware. Because if you can make it grid aware and the customer can know what is my availability of energy? Is it sustainable energy or not? When do I run this workload at a time when more energy is available so it's cheaper? And how do I run less energy intensive workloads at a time when we're at a peak and it's really expensive? So we're not there yet. That's why we're calling it a concept. But this is really the promise of what we can do to make our data centers smarter across the board so that customers can meet both their P&L requirements they can uphold their fiduciary responsibility to their investors, but they can also make sure that they're meeting their own sustainability goals as it relates to their IT. Yeah. So a lot of what you said sort of summarizes that like the promise of AI is so immense, but there's all of these operational and environmental considerations and costs if that's not managed carefully. So Dell helping to kind of leverage this iteration, what innovation, whether that's infrastructure, edge solutions, AI platforms, to help customers address this. What, wh where would you say people need to start kind of on, on addressing that those efficiency challenges without compromising on performance or sustainability? Because as you talking, it's like, these are all great solutions, but that's a lot to take it on, is. right? Yeah, and, and customers often ask like, what do I do? Where do, Where I, do start? I start? And many yeah. of our leaders are like, you just need to start somewhere and you need to start now. And so a big part of what we do with our customers is help them get started. So we have reference architectures, we have an AI pursuits team that can help our customers just getting started in AI, um, you know, from our sales team who are really um, well educated in how to help customers get started. We also have consulting services. And in that same consulting portfolio is a, a sustainability offering, for example. We have a customer advisory board of chief sustainability officers that get together that we run separately from the CIO customer advisory boards that we run, but we do encourage more direct connection between the CIOs and the CSOs so they can make these decisions together from a cost and an emissions perspective. And so those are some of the things that are happening. And by factoring in and, and buying the latest technology with the latest innovations like liquid cooling, that's going to give you a jump start on ensuring that your data center running AI is as efficient as it can be. I would also say really think about your AI strategy end to end. 
the emissions coming off of a PC are less than what would happen inside of your data center where you're running um, rack servers, as an example. So running the right workload in the right place for the right task or use case is critically important. So we can help customers with that as well. And, and you know, not AI per se, but I, I can't not mention circular economy. You can't go deploy a new fleet of AI PCs to your workforce without thinking about how are you going to retire the now obsolete equipment. So what we get excited about is environmental sustainability leadership and expertise from Dell across circular economy, turning trash into treasure, if you will, connected into climate action and how that relates to our overall innovation agenda for our customers. Like we do look at it holistically and each piece plays off of each other. So looking at that holistically, that involves more than, than technology, it involves people. Yeah. So let, shifting a bit to kind of the more people-centric side of yeah. AI, this rapid evolution of AI means that there is a skills gap that could be widening and organizations are struggling to kind of keep pace with that. What support is Gal Dell giving towards workforce readiness, both in internally and for your customers and partners to ensure that industries and communities can fully participate and benefit from this AI economy. It's a key part of how we drive human progress and think about human capital management and human rights across our value chain. It's a big part of our AI strategy. Mm -hmm. When we think about skilling and ethical AI, uh, it's got to be factored into the overall innovation agenda coming out of the company. So um, I think public-private partnerships is so key. So, for example, um, the White House just issued something called the AI Education for American Youth Executive Order. So mm -hmm. we just submitted our response for that with guidance to the U.S. government on what we believe needs to be done. And then also made commitments around initiatives that we currently have or, we, or that we are growing that can be factored into what Dell is going to do actively to advance the education of American youth to help them participate fully in this new digital economy. I'll give you a couple of examples. So yes, we have trained with AI foundations training all of our employees. We did that more than a year ago and we're constantly rolling out new training across the board or by functional area based on whatever it is that employee needs to know. Agentic AI is coming fast to the scene, so that's going to require a new level of training and understanding as we use AI agents in service of us, the humans, to help us reduce low-level work, do more high-level work, and add real value at greater efficiency. What of that training do we turn in through our Dell Learning uh, team to offer that to our customers and to governments? And we have active engagements across many governments as we speak from the US to Malaysia to India, really helping them address their own strategies and what they are going to do to advance their citizens. We have interview uh, digital assistance, if you will, where we have engaged uh, nonprofits. HopeWorks out of Philadelphia is a good example where they are starting to do interview skilling with young adults entering the workforce who are practicing interviews with an AI assistant. So when they go in for the real interview, they're ready. So it's a combination of training our own workforce, working through Dell Learning to train and certify our customers together with our customers and partners, training the public and the communities where we live and work and figuring out with our philanthropic approach, both with people, dollars and equipment, how do we get this more into the hands of our communities so they can fully participate? So there's a lot going on in this space, and it's critically important that everyone lean in and make a contribution here if we're going to ensure all people have access to this AI economy. 
I love that message. And that's actually something that I've always sort of taken away from my conversations with leaders at Dell. That this isn't something that's like, look at what we're doing. It's like, look at what we should all be doing. So with that, is there something you want to kind of leave as the big takeaway? What do you want people to know or do next? Well, I think, you know, at Dell, we are AI optimists. I think it's really important to lean in and educate yourself and factor in both the business and societal impacts of AI. How are you reducing risk? How are you building the right uh, processes and policies so that you can ensure responsible AI? Do that, it's responsible business, but don't let that sh slow down your embracing of AI and how you can drive real innovation and results within your company, but also leave a really positive imprint on the world. That's great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today, JJ. It really has been such a pleasure speaking with you. And for everyone watching, thanks for joining us for this sustainability opening keynote at the Six Five Summit. Stay connected with us on social and explore more conversations throughout the day and the next couple of days at sixfivemedia.com slash summit. There are more insights coming up next.